Hello everyone, today I'd like to take a look at adding GIF support to the Rails TurboChat application. We could also add GIF support, but I'm not really one of those people, so you might want to go find a different tutorial if that's the way your boat rocks. It's not an expression, those are just words I made up. Uh, but this is a pretty simple thing to implement. Uh, it just does have a little bit of nuance to it, so I wanted to cover it because it's not built into active storage as, as best that I can tell. Uh, basically, inside of our application, we have two different areas. We have a JavaScript uh, controllers area where we have our message previews. And if I come in here and I like attach an image of myself because I'm super self-centered, you can see here we uh, grab the image type to do the preview. And then when we hit send, it just sends the image. So that's boring. But uh, it's important to note that we are uh, grabbing the image type when we do that preview. Now, the other part of it that we're doing is inside of our messages, and I think it's our message preview, maybe? Uh, message preview goes into our content. So we have to come into our attachments. Inside of our attachments, we check each attachment type because we're doing previews for images, videos, audio, and then everything else, which is just our file attachments. Now, the issue is right now, if we try to upload something, and I'll come in here, I'll go up to the downloads and I'll grab this GIF right here that I have from Scrubs and I'll click open. And the image here is displaying just fine. You, it's kind of hard to see, but it is animated. So this is a proper GIF right here in our preview. So that's cool. Uh, but if I hit send, it doesn't animate. So let's take a look at what this is doing in the preview to get a better idea of how this works, because I like to sort of show how to you know, troubleshoot these things when you run into them because it makes it easier to solve them on your own if I don't have a video covering this stuff. But if we come into our message preview controller and we just scroll down real quick, we can see that we have a switch case where we go through different file types. And I just sort of classified GIFs under image. Um, the reason for this is it's sort of how it works. So if you upload a GIF, it will fall under image slash GIF, just like these fall under image slash JPEG and image slash PNG. So what's happening here in our attachments is we're calling if the attachment is an image, which is sort of correct because this is an image. Uh, but it, based on what I can tell, it looks like active storage. Uh, when we do this chat attachment method, when, when we call that, it causes the image to get resized, I think, in here, our chat attachment. So if the target.image has a variant, it then does a process for that variant. So I, I think right here is sort of where the issue is. We would have to either add a check in our attachment here to uh, not do this chat attachment at all and just do the uh, actual attachment itself or inside of our chat attachment, when we do the check if it's an image, we might have to return if the content type is of type GIF, or I guess just return the attachment. So for now, let's try to just change it inside of our attachments.html. So if we come in here, we can change this if to an else if, that will then cause the image to only play unless we find a GIF first. So we'll just start by saying if this attachment uh, dot content type. And if we come into our message here, we can see that we didn't actually do this. Okay, so let's just leave it like this and uh, put in some random letters. This will cause it to error out and then we can check how to uh, see if something has a specific content type. So right here, uh, and this is just how I like to debug these things. Right here, we see that it has the attachment. So if I just go through the attachment as we iterate through each of the messages attachments, uh, because we could have multiple. I can grab the attachment and here I can see nothing of value really, but if I do attachment dot blob, and if I scroll in a bit more so we can actually see this, we can see that this blob has a content type of image slash JPEG. And remember we need this to be image slash uh, GIF. So if we do something like um, uh, attachment dot content type, that's going to give us image slash JPEG. So this does exist on the attachment. It just grabs it through the blob. So what we could do here where we have our attachments instead of calling dot image, because if we try to do attachment dot image, that gives us a true or false. But if I try and do attachment dot GIF, 
that of course doesn't work because we don't have that method. So what we could do here is we could just check if this attachment is a uh, content underscore type dot equal to question mark. And then in parentheses, we just add in whatever our content type needs to be, which here is image slash GIF. So we can do that. We can then come out of here and refresh. And now if we, uh, well, we have this, so it's not displaying the image at all. So now instead of doing this uh, image tag that we have right here, which is just causing it to display a uh, reformatted image right here. So this doesn't have the additional frames, it only has the first frame resized. What we can do is we can grab this uh, message.chat attachment index. And instead of calling that method, we could just call attachment or just put the attachment in there. That'll give us our GIF without resizing it first and that causes it to work. So that's option number one. Now option number two, is to still call the message.chat attachment, which seems cleaner, and instead just return if we have a type of GIF or a type that is uh, a should not be resized type. So we can come in here, we can undo what we just did, unless you wanna keep that. If you wanna keep that, then go for it. I just wanna cover both approaches just in case one of these is better for you. So we leave this, and then if it's of type image, which a GIF is, it'll then come in here and try and resize it. So then we come into message.rb, where we have this return unless attachments attached, and then we say return, uh, and we wanna return if the content type matches, right? So return uh, if content, or I guess, uh, what is it, target dot uh, content underscore type, dot equal question mark image slash gif something like that we'll save that uh it'll probably yell at me because the if statement's in the wrong place so here we're just returning this but what we actually want to do is i think we want to return the target if the target dot content type is equal to that so let's try this if it is of type gif we then return the target we refresh and now we have the uh, GIF playing properly. Okay, so now let's take it and let's move this from a single check to something a bit better, I guess, so that we can add multiple types. To do this, we can grab this image slash GIF. We'll just cut this out. We'll actually get rid of this whole line right here. Uh, we'll just leave it as return target if. We can come up here and we can do something like at not resizables and set this equal to something like percent %w and then an array, and then we say image slash GIF inside of it. We can then come down here where we have the return target, and we just check if at not underscore resizables dot includes the target dot content type. Actually, this is include, not includes. I'm gonna save this, and this isn't gonna work right away. So we'll save this, refresh, and it'll tell us that there's a nil with the nil class. So whenever you get the nil class, don't look at the include method, look at what you have the include method attached to. So it's telling us that whatever we tried to use include on is nil. So you gotta look at this, which is the pretty little word right here, and then go back one, which is this variable right here is not defined. And that's because we have one at instead of two. If we add a second at here and a second at here, it then becomes a class variable. And we can come over here, refresh, and now we have our class variable that's working over here as well. Now, of course, the class var is gonna be upset because it wants a class instance. So if you wanna make this a class instance, you could do something like a uh, after initialize block where you set this up. Uh, you could also set up something with like a, I don't know, attribute writer if you wanted to. It really depends how you want to set it up. In this case, I think it's fine. I'm sure there's some Rails guru out there who's going to be upset about it, but I, I think this is fine. It just gives you an array that you can then add on to. Maybe you want to add image slash ASDF as a future uh, content type that you can't resize, and then you just go through it, and then you check, and then if you get an image slash ASDF, you also don't resize that one. But this way, it is a little bit flexible in the sense that you can expand it as you go. And it allows you to have your GIFs play just like you'd expect. So now we can come in here, we can attach these, attach a PDF, attach a PNG or whatever, add all of those, click send, 
and then we'll get yelled at because I tried to attach a PDF. So maybe we'll skip that and just attach an image. We'll grab this, hit send. Because again, we've added all this stuff so that we don't, oops, so we don't run into uh, all these problems with people uploading bad stuff. And here you can see line is updating on me, which means it's 3 a.m., which I think means it's time for me to call it with this video. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, you know, hopefully you got something out of this and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.